Eccolo, damos la bienvenida. Here, here he is. Let's welcome Pope uh, Francis. Bienvenido. Welcome. Estamos aquí. Los chicos no, pero mi marido sí. Bienvenidos, un placer. ¿eh? Gracias. Por favor, si nos podemos sentar. So please, if you can uh, take your seats now. Thank you. Me permito de hablar el español. Allow me to speak in Spanish. Good afternoon, welcome, and I wish to thank you uh, sincerely from my heart for the work you've done. It's true that I can uh, talk about the issue of uh, care of the environment and this culture of care for the environment. And this culture of uh, care for the environment is not just, and I'm saying this in the good sense, not just quote unquote green. It's not just a green attitude. It's much more than this. Uh, taking care of the environment means an attitude of human ecology. So we can't say that the person is here and the creation, the environment is over there. Ecology is something total. It is uh, human. And uh, this is what I will try to express in the uh, encyclical, Laudato Si, that uh, we cannot separate man from everything else. There is a uh, relationship which has a huge impact, both the environment on the person and the person in the way they treat the environment, and also the uh, rebound uh, effect against man when the environment is uh, mistreated. Ooh. And uh, because of this, faced by a question which was put to me, no, it's uh, not a green encyclical. It is a social encyclical because uh, inside the uh, social life of human beings, we cannot separate care for the environment uh, care for the environment is a social attitude que nos socializa. which uh, socializes us in one way or the other. And uh, I can attribute, contribute the value you want to this. And on the other hand, this makes us uh, receive, I like the Italian expression, uh, the creato, creation. Uh, what was created, um, which the Lord has given us, and um, the environment, that is. And on the other hand, uh, why this uh, invitation, which uh, was an idea of the Academy and uh, 
an idea, I think it was a very fruitful idea on the part of uh, Monsignor Sanchez Serondo to uh, invite uh, mayors of uh, large cities and also some smaller cities to uh, talk about uh, these issues. Because one of the things which uh, we s notice when there is not care for the environment and creation is the growth of cities, the uncontrolled growth of cities. This is a worldwide phenomenon. And as if um, the um, cities grow, but there are belts of poverty around them which are wider and where people uh, suffer the impact of uh, lack of care for the environment. And in this sense, uh, we also have uh, migration uh, involved because people come into big cities, they come to the uh, peripheries and uh, you have shanty towns, uh, slums with all the names uh, they have because the rural world for these people does not give them enough uh, opportunity. And this is a point which is in the uh, encyclical with great uh, respect. However, this needs to be um, denounced. The idolatry of uh, technocracy, the idolatry of technocracy leads uh, to uh, deprive people of work. It leads to unemployment. Uh, there are there's a lot of unemployment and unemployment means that uh, uh, new people have, have to seek new horizons by emigrating. A large number of uh, unemployed people. Um, I don't have the statistics, but in some countries in Europe, particularly the young people in some countries of Europe. Uh, youth unemployment, uh, people under 25, is uh, above 40 percent, and in some cases it reaches 50 percent. So um, 40, 40, 50. I'm, th I'm thinking of um, serious statistics which are reported by heads of government, heads of state uh, directly. And this, uh, if we project it towards the future, um, shows us a, a specter of a unemployed youth which today uh, what kind of horizon, what kind of future can uh, they look towards? They have uh, addictions, they don't know their lives. It's a uh, meaningless life with uh, youth suicides among young people. The statistics uh, on uh, youth suicides are not published in their entirety or uh, looking uh, for other um, um, possibilities. Some turn to guerrilla activities to um, find uh, some uh, meaning in life. And also health is uh, jeopardized. The uh, great number of what so-called rare diseases which um, come derived from lots of uh, fertilizers used in uh, fields, but there's an excess of uh, what I would call technification. The um, biggest problems are oxygen and uh, water, the desertification of huge uh, areas because of deforestation. Here uh, alongside me I have uh, the Cardinal Archbishop who is responsible for Brazilian Amazonia and uh, he can tell us what uh, deforestation in uh, means in Amazonia today. Uh, Amazonia is one of the great uh, lungs of the world and uh, deforestation is um, 
uh, to eight or nine years ago. Uh, um, I can't remember which uh, federal government uh, had. Uh, they had decided to um, stop uh, deforestation, which uh, affected the population. So what happens when all these phenomena of excessive uh, technology and lack of care for the environment, as well as uh, natural phenomena, impact migration? And uh, they... Uh, we have uh, the trafficking of people, uh, mm, illegal labor, black labor, uh, labor employment without contracts is increasingly common, um, which is uh, uh, under the table, um, with under the table agreements. This means that a person don't earn enough to... Uh, live and this could lead to uh, forms of addiction and lots of other things which happen in a, a large uh, city with these migrations caused by certification uh, I'm referring to uh, agro industry and we also have uh, trafficking of people in um, mining activities. People who are enslaved in mining activities are a great many today. What the use of um, certain uh, minerals uh, means, arsenic, cyanide, which uh, cause uh, illnesses in uh, people and there's a lot of responsibility there. So there's a huge rebound uh, effect uh, against uh, the same people. So the trafficking of people, um, enslaved uh, labor, prostitution, these are uh, form sources of work in order to be able to survive uh, nowadays. And so I'm very glad that uh, you have uh, reflected on uh, these uh, phenomena and uh, I've just mentioned some which affect the uh, large cities. And I could say that uh, we really have to involve the in these things. I have a great hope in the Paris summit in November. I uh, hope that uh, a fundamental basic agreement is reached. I have great hopes in that. And the United Nations really need to uh, take a very strong position on this uh, issue, particularly the trafficking of human beings uh, caused by this environmental situation and the exploitation of people. I um, a couple of months ago I received a delegation of women from the United Nations who were in tasked with uh, investigating the sexual exploitation of children in uh, countries in conflict. There were so uh, children who were exploited is another issue and war is another factor which leads to an imbalance in the environment and I wanted to conclude with a um, reflection which is not uh, mine it's um, by Romano Guardini a um, theologian and a philosopher who speaks of two types of in culture the uh, in culture God uh, gave us for us to transform it into culture. He gave us the uh, task to be stewards and to uh, administer the um, uh, earth. And the second in culture is when the man man doesn't uh, respect this relationship with the earth. It doesn't care for the uh, earth. This is something which is very uh, clear in uh, the uh, biblical uh, story. Uh, second, uh, lack of uh, culture. When uh, man does not take care of it, uh, man uh, 
begins to uh, take this uh, of its bed and out of its riverbed and it spills over into his hands and this forms a second type of uh, ignorance uh, atomic energy is good it can uh, help uh, us but uh, how far if we think of uh, Hiroshima and Nagasaki already it's caused and uh, there's an uh, there are ex ancient examples of this this second form of uh, lack of culture of ignorance is what destroys man a medieval rabbi uh, practically the same period as uh, st. Thomas of Aquinas explained that in a midrash The problem of the uh, Tower of uh, Babel was uh, discussed in a synagogue, and he said that building the Tower of Babel took a lot, a long time. It took a lot of work, uh, particularly for the bricks. Uh, it meant uh, getting the mud and the straw compacting it, uh, cutting the bricks, having them dry, putting them into an oven, a brick. Uh, it was something which was very, very valuable. And they took the bricks up uh, to be placed uh, on top of the tower. When a brick fell, it was a huge problem. Uh, the person who was responsible, the person who um, let the uh, brick punished when a worker fell nothing happened this is the uh, drama of this second form of uh, ignorance man as a creator of ignorance and uh, in culture non-culture and not culture a form a uh, creator of non-culture because he doesn't take care of the environment and this uh, meeting uh, of um, mayors called by the Pontifical Academy is important because if this conscience uh, comes from the center and goes to the uh, periphery the most important work is done from the periphery to the center uh, that is say from you to the conscience of uh, humankind the Holy See or Individual countries may be able to make nice speeches at the United Nations, but if the work doesn't come from the periphery, moving to the center, there is no effect. And that is the responsibility of uh, you mayors uh, of um, cities. And therefore, I'm very, very grateful for you uh, to have met as peripheries uh, to address this problem. Each of you have in your cities um, things uh, uh, which I have described and which you have to uh, try and manage and govern. And so I thank you for your cooperation. Monsignor Sanchez Arondo told me that many of you have uh, spoken and uh, that uh, this has um, been a very uh, rich endeavor. And so I would like to thank, hope, ask the Lord that uh, conscience can be acquired of this problem of destruction which we ourselves. Um, causing in not taking care of human ecology and not having an ecological uh, conscience which we were given initially to transform, transform the first non-culture into culture and not uh, to transform culture into non-culture. Thank you. Sí, no sé lo que no, 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 que